I love when I get boxes that say that on the outside. So this is the Big Agnes Windy Point One, an REI exclusive. I'm gonna set the tent up and just shoot a short video. So here's the tent set up. It took probably two minutes to put it together without the rain fly on it. Um, it looks like it's wider, maybe in the back, so the head end, and then taper some to the foot end. My first impression is it's not nearly as yellow looking as it looks in the one picture that I saw on the website. I would call it somewhere in between like yellow and that safety green color that you see like construction workers wearing. Let me blow up my air pad and put it in there and see how it fits. So there's what it looks like with uh, my climate air mattress in there. That one is uh, 23 inches wide and 72 inches long. You can see there's room on each side. Looks like you bring your pack in there. I usually bring my pack in and put it behind the head. I'll do that now and see what it looks like. So there's what it looks like with my Exos 48 liter pack in there. I usually bring that in at night and use it as a pillow. It's like my rain gear stuff inside of there and stuff, unless it's soaking wet. So let me get inside and see how I fit in there. So I'm six foot tall, and I would say I barely fit in here. If you were any taller, you probably won't fit in this tent. So I'm laying on the air mattress just like I would if I was sleeping. Um, I have my shoes on. Let me turn the camera around. I have my shoes on and my feet are just barely touching the netting down there. And you can see at the top how close my head is to the end of the tent. But I do fit. So laying inside the tent looking around, there's a lot of storage things. Um, everywhere there's a clip outside, there's one of these yellow hooks inside. There's another storage thing here. Um, if you were really worried about the weight, you could probably cut some of that stuff out of here. Some warning labels. So the tent has three stuff sacks. One for, the, for everything, the tent body and the stakes and the... Uh, tent poles were all wrapped up inside the tent body and the fly and stuffed into this and there's also one for the stakes and then one for the poles that came with this emergency repair splint um, the poles let's see if I get the focus the poles are aluminum um, the stakes they sent are just some you know typical aluminum stakes which I prefer um, some companies just send those steel stakes that I always throw away. So these are nice. I would actually use these probably. Um, I have some other stakes upstairs, but I would use some of these aluminum stakes. There's what the tent looks like with the rain fly on there. Uh, the, the connectors on the rain fly are color coded. Color coded. They're green on my tent. They're green at the foot end and then yellow at the head end. There's a little ventilation place here that, with a built-in rod that holds it open with velcro on the, the end um, there's rope on the guy out points I don't know if it's on all of them Let's see. so it looks like there's four places to tie it out there's one on the foot end one on the non door side over there two at the head of the tent and then you can stake out the vestibule area. Let's open that up and see how much space is in there. So there's how much space is in front of the door area right there. Let's put my pack in there and see what that looks like. So that's what it looks like with a 48 liter pack empty inside the vestibule by the door. You could easily fit your pack and shoes in here. There's a whole other side that I don't even have staked out. Um, you can see over here.
looks like there might be a slight gap sort of at the bottom where the vegetable doesn't go all the way to the ground. But that's pretty typical. I usually bring a piece of tie back anyways. So I've been wanting a one person freestanding tent. Um, and this one cost at REI about $120 plus sales tax. I think it was $128 here in Ohio. I would say the tent is definitely worth the $120. Um, if you're trying to get like a two pound, two ounce tent, this isn't it. This is three pounds, three and a half pounds, something like that. You could probably get it down close to three, getting rid of uh, all the stuff sacks. Maybe cutting out some of that storage stuff on the inside, leaving some of the stakes at home, possibly. But yeah, I think it's a good deal. And uh, hopefully next week I'll get to take the tent out. I can't take it out this weekend. I have plans. So yeah, I'll get it out and um, then do like a real review on it. I just wanted to get a quick video up. Um, when I bought the tent, I couldn't find anything except the one picture on the REI website. So I hope this video helps everyone. Um, and let me know if you have any questions.